hi you guys so today is a very exciting day today is august 30th and today we are dropping off the car in app one am very excited out oh, there my husband he just pulled up in the car behind me and anyway so his unit is gone to the field and by the time they get back we'll be gone so his friend from his unit let us is letting us use his car since we are getting rid of our car we're shipping our car back to the states to louisiana also stay tuned to the end of this video because we will be doing a PCS update in this video me and my husband gonna go ahead and come on here and tell y'all what we've been doing for the last two weeks because a lot has been getting done y'all a whole lot has been getting done but we have not been able to well we've been able to film it we just haven't been filming it so at the end of this video we're gonna give a PCS update just to let y'all know where we're at in the process of moving what are we got done and some very 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 exciting news so stay tuned to the end of this video anyway i will see y'all in the next clip when we are safely at our destination all right y'all so we just pulled up to the place daddy you want me to, want me to go right now Let me park the car, you guys. This is the Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, y'all. So there's the car. We're dropping the car off. What coil? To get cleaned. The dude coming here to pick up the car. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. So we are here. It is another day. It's the next day, and we here this morning to process our vehicle and get it shipped off. It was it clean? Yeah. Super clean? Nothing I couldn't have did. Was the tires and stuff clean? The, they were shining, but you know, the rim was still like. The engine. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah. To see if I wasted my money. Anyway, y'all. Uh, I'll just ignore that. But Dre just left. He just went inside. He's going inside. And he about to turn in all the paperwork and pay the dude for cleaning the car because the car so when you ship your car from germany back to the states the rules are a little bit different you have to have you can't their their rule is you can't bring germs or bacteria from germany to the united states so you have to get the inside of your car extremely cleaned um shampooed all that stuff the wheels have to be clean the tires um have to be i think you know what maybe i'm wrong anyway the one thing that we knew that we probably couldn't do was the engine the engine has to be 
clean. Mm. And I heard of a lot of people who just bought a brand new car. They go to ship their car, and because there's a leaf on the engine, they fail them. It cost us $290 to get this car clean and pass for inspection. Now, when I moved here from the States, it cost us, I paid my mother's husband like $80 to clean our car, and he just detailed it inside and out they didn't look at the engine or nothing like that it was just clean and they shipped it off like it wasn't it didn't have to be astronomically clean but over here is a little bit different so we, we paid we're we just he just paid that he going to turn in all the paperwork you got to have like the title if you own the car or permission from the lender if you don't own the car to ship the car over here you got to have um what you gotta have? Matter of fact, it's right here. You gotta have your orders. You gotta have your registration, proof of ownership, which I'm the proof of ownership. You gotta have no more than a quarter tank of gas. You can take them in now with you, and you gotta sign the bottom of the paper. I gotta sign the top. Not sign, but put my name at the top. Okay, well, I gotta go sign. <laughs> yeah, they put these super big lights, like, all over you, all over the car, and, like, look at it in extreme detail. I thought that was so crazy. Like I was saying, the brakes, it say the brakes must work 100%, including the emergency brake. Um, you got to have the sticker on your door and under the hood. I don't know what sticker they talking about, but I know that he checked for it and we got it. So, boom. Um, okay, it says all POVs, which is personal operating vehicle must have the must conform to all usda standards interior outside hood and trunk spare tire areas must be clean no leaks uh no wet interior dry vacuum only one key for all locks and lockable compartments and oh okay one key so my husband just got the tags. As y'all can see, he got the tags in his hand. Maybe y'all can't see. But yeah, okay. he got the tags in his hand because he, we just passed. And he drove the car. Hey, y'all be quiet for a second. He drove the car into the, um, it's the what he called it? Quarantine Bay. So I know the car probably going to sit there for a a while i guess i don't know how this jump work i just know that it worked anyways and we have to go over to the registration office which is right there that building right there that big yellow building right there we have to go over there and turn in our registration and our um tags so that we can be cleared for registration saying like hey <clears throat> our car ain't here no more it's gone 
And then we can turn that into our insurance, the car insurance, so that we can cancel our car insurance payment and we're not still paying for car insurance. We are currently using my husband's coworker car. So I'm going I'm to tell y'all more about that later when we leave here and decide what we're going to do. But anyways, after we leave here, I need to go get my son an uh, ice pack from the store because he fell off his bike yesterday so he got a scrape under his arm and he had a bruise on his leg last night well not a bruise his leg kind of swole up a little bit last night like a little bump so um i was icing it last night but i want to get an ice pack so it can make it a little bit easier for me to ice it thank you Oh, there it is. Yeah, That's how they got. Can it be hot or cold? Is what they say. Bees conform. Oh, yeah, it can be hot or cold. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Yeah. Great, we got first aid kit for the road, an ice pack for Kia, and some chapstick for moi. Hello. Hello. That's it, that's it, that's it. Back up, back up. That's on that side. That's it, that's it. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're going to give a quick little update on what has been going on with the PCS move that we have not filmed. And so, um, Dre got his orders. That was the last thing that y'all saw was that Dre got his orders. And so, the next thing that we did was we started uh, booking all the hotel rooms and the rental cars. We originally wanted, I wanted to book a hotel room near, right across from the airport that we flying out of and rent a, rent a car and drive to, the, drive to that hotel room and stay overnight for the next morning. But we had to cancel that because it cost like $700 total. Well, really $400 and we'll get $300 back, but we just don't have the money to wait seven days to get $300 back right now. So we couldn't do that. So we had to cancel that. So instead, we booked a hotel room here on post for two nights. No, one night. Two nights. Uh, two nights, yeah, three days. For two nights, and then we're going to catch the shuttle to the airport the night before. And we just going to get to the airport, like, super duper early and just be in there forever. We also had to book the hotel room for when we land in Louisiana and the rental car for when we land in Louisiana. And that hotel was $248 a night. And then when I called and told them that we was active duty, they reduced the price to $110, which was amazing. And we had to book a rental car to get our bags from the airport to the hotel room and stuff like that. So we had to get a truck so that it could fit all of us and all of our bags. So it's pretty expensive, but it is what it is. It's just one day. And we did all that on the phone, so we didn't like record the process or nothing because it was just a lot of calling, canceling, and stuff like that. Anyway, aside from that, Dre has been clearing. All right, so if you see this video and you in the military, the clearing process can be easy or hard depending on your leadership. Unfortunately, I have super duper ultra horrible leadership and I had zero help, so I had to figure out everything by myself, and it's super stressful on the level 15. Clearing is going around with signatures, 
and okay I give you this paper with all these places like self-help library banks uh the px um the hospital you go to all these places and make sure you don't owe no money you good on all your medical issues um basically a whole bunch of paperwork to push you out of the installation because when you when you a soldier and you come on post and you once you get on post you in process and that put your that register you in everything on the entire base and when you leave you have to make sure you don't owe no money or no or anything like that so that's basically what clearing is but that was the easiest part getting the signatures is that's a grain of salt like you can get signatures in your sleep that's super easy so other than that um the next thing that we've been doing i started packing malachi started packing as well but the kids and dre stuff ain't packed i packed up all my shoes i packed up half of my clothes and the other half of my clothes is not packed up but we packed up most of our stuff we also um got our stuff in that we're gonna be traveling with our travel book bags and the little activities and the headphones and stuff like that that the kids need. Uh, we got all that stuff in. And we painted the room upstairs. We didn't record us painting the room because we didn't take all the stuff out the room to paint the room. And setting up a tripod to try to paint was just going to be extra on top of the room. It was already super aggravating to paint to start with. But we painted that room. And the last and final thing that the super big, big, big news that um I was talking about earlier is that we got a house. <laughs> and nope, we don't know what it looked like. We just know we live at the end of a uh cul de sac, that's what they call it. But in the country we call it a uh dead end. It's a dead end. We live at the end of the circle. Y'all, we literally, ah, well, you did the same thing. We literally, we got the address. They sent us the address in the email, and we put it in Google Maps, Google Earth, to figure out, to try to see what our house looked like, y'all, and we still can't see it. All it shows is the roof in yeah, the you neighborhood. Can't, you can't see military bases on Google Maps because they it's private. I mean, you can see it, but... They ain't gonna give you the detail like they give you on the outside. Yeah, like if you walking up the city and you could see the apartment building and walk down the street, like it wasn't like that at all. You could just see the roof, the parking lot, and the neighborhood, like everybody roof. So we know that, we know small details about our house, but not really. And they sent us the floor plan. No, yeah, the yeah. floor plan. And that's it. Like, but we had already seen the floor plan on our own from picking the house. And y'all, picking the house was a whole marathon. Oh my God. So, just to talk about it a little bit. That's part of clearing, too. We originally booked the hotel on the base in Louisiana for 30 days. 27. Oh, 27 days. See, he booked it. So, the plan was to stay there, look for a house, wait into the house. But as y'all know, Dre is going to school in like 30 days after we get there. And so, since he going, since he going to school, we didn't want to be left in the hotel room stranded with nothing to like to not be settled in the house. So we called the people, we put our application in. Well, he put the application in online, and then he called the people back and asked them what houses they had available for when we come in. And they gave us two houses that they had available. And one house was one level, and the other house was two levels. The house that we getting ain't the house that we wanted, but it was the best of the two options. And at first, we was going to wait. But then he called back and was like, we just going to accept the house because he don't want somebody else to get the house. And then they leave us with the house that we don't want. And See, look, if you if you going to be, if you know somebody in the military, is in the military, going to the military, people don't care about you. So 
If you ever got to get some paperwork that's up to somebody, call them folks, harass them folks, harass people all the time, 24-7. Do not ever be the type of person where, uh, I ain't finna keep harassing them folks and I'm gonna leave them folks alone, let them do their job. No, do not be that person. And ask the right question because if you leave your life in somebody else's hand, they're going to fail you every time because they don't know you and they don't care about you. And that's how people is. So I called these folks and I asked the right questions. And I'm like, hey, if I don't take this house and I stay in this hotel, are they going to make me pay for the hotel? She was like, if we offer you this house and you turn it down, then more than likely they're going to make you pay for the hotel. And then on top of that, they're going to, if you be in the hotel too long, they're going to call us and they're going to, ask us is anything available and then they're gonna force you to take it so i'm like if i want to never call her and ask them questions i probably would have ended up in one of them little one-story houses with just the little thingy to drive up on the pavilion that's what they call it whatever they call it the drive under instead of getting my two-story house with the garage so if you want something in the military you got to take it you got to be assertive and Get what you want and ask the right question because ain't nobody going to do you no favors, put you on game. People don't do that unless you like know them personally and you became friends with somebody in HR or housing or something like that. Other than that, call, bro. Always call. But, y'all, just so y'all know that this house is not going to be like 100% all of that. Like, nine times out of ten, we're going to have carpet in our dining room. And we're going to also have a sink in our bedroom. Like the sink that goes in our bathroom is going to be in our bedroom. So it's it's separated, but it's not separated at the same time. It's like obvious that a door is supposed to be right there, but I guess they forgot. And they're not going to waste their time spending money. But it's not the worst house you could possibly have but it's not the best house either i'm hoping that we get one that's like renovated and we got hardwood floors and stuff like that that would be super nice but if we don't and we get like an older one then it's when we walk in this house it's probably not gonna be the best house in the world but it was the best of the two options because we really wanted a garage and we wanted upstairs, downstairs, and I wanted the patio. It's a lot of stuff that come with the house that I wanted that didn't come with the other house. So, it is what it is. But we got a house. The house is got, and we will be moving straight into the house. So, we only stand in the hotel room for one night. We're going to have a rental car for one night, and then the next day, we're going to see the house. So, as soon as we get there, y'all, on the 13th, we get there. Also... We didn't know we had to pay to move in with our own money because he didn't get BAH for September because we was here and he won't get BAH until November. So for September, we got to pay the rent for half of the month out of our own money, which is like $600. So that's something that we didn't know, but that's something that we got to pay when we get there and we sign a lease and all of that stuff. And so if you in the military or you new to this whole thing keep all that stuff in mind yes they pay for your house but if you didn't get bah that month you have to pay for your house that month and you're not getting the money back they're not gonna reimburse you at all whatsoever yeah also the military pay for your hotel room but they don't pay for your rental car which don't make sense because how am i supposed to get from place to place but whatever that was the big news that's the big upgrade update and i can't wait to get back because y'all already know the vlog's gonna be up 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 like september gonna be full of stuff and shopping and vlogging and house stuff and cleaning and doing all kind of stuff so i hope y'all stay tuned for all of those videos and i hope y'all enjoy it we got our house so that's a big 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 plus anything else you want to say stay safe out there